Amanda Brown. I am the Education Director for Deadwood History, and I'm going to read a story for you all today. This is something that I did for the Deadwood Public Library a couple of weeks ago, and I thought I'd do it for you all as well. So today we are going to be reading Penguin and Pinecone, a friendship story. This was written by Selena Yoon, and we are going to go ahead and get started with our book. It's a really cute book, and I can't wait for us to uh, read it together. Is everybody ready? Great. All right. So, Penguin and Pinecone by Selena Yoon. All right. One day, Penguin found a curious object. There it is. She says, what's this? It was too brown to be a snowball, too hard to be food, and too prickly to be an egg. Whatever you are, you are cold, brr. Penguin got busy. Penguin loved his new friend. There they are playing. What's wrong with my friend? It's too cold here, said Grandpa. Pinecone belongs in the forest far, far away. He can't grow big and strong on the ice. Penguin sighed. I better take you home, Pinecone. Penguin packed his sled for the long journey. There he is packing his sled. He's gotta have all the supplies that he needs. The wind pushed hard, but Penguin pulled harder. The forest, Pinecone, you're home. Penguin made a cozy nest out of the softest pine needles he could find. The day grew hotter and hotter. Goodbye, Pinecone, you will always be in my heart. big and strong like Penguin had? Penguin set off to find out. There he goes again, off on another journey. Pinecone? See, there he is in his little in his little skirt. Pinecone! Penguin and Pinecone played and played. Pinecone was sad to see Penguin go, but the forest is no place for a penguin. Penguin and Pinecone may have been far apart, but they always stayed in each other's hearts. When you give love, it grows. The end. That was Penguin and Pinecone by Selena Yoon. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you enjoyed this story, check out the other books that the Deadwood Library has, uh, and we'll see you next time. Bye.